Hi, today I'm going to show how to use the Primera Composer Pro CD duplicator and the Primera Inscripta printer. The software is already installed on the included computer. First I'm going to bring up a simple CD label in the editing software which is installed on the computer. You can see here it's a nice simple label. You can make a complex label that includes images as well as other kinds of text, but for this demonstration this label is just fine. We will be duplicating this disc from a wonderful guy named Tom Kell. This is called That's What Fathers Do. On the desktop there is already set up a shortcut that says basic D to duplicator copy. What that does, it copies from drive D to the duplicator. All set up for you. You can use the software and make the choices yourself, but this is a nice easy way to do it. So I'm going to open up drive D and I'm going to put the master disk in. And now I'm going to choose basic D to duplicator copy. This starts up the software. Cancel that. We don't care about the disk. When the software starts up, it needs to know about the duplicator. It needs to know which are the left and the right hand drives. It turns out that ID 0, which is labeled here, is the left drive, and ID 1 is the right drive. So it's very easy to select left, right, and click OK and ask you what printer will you be using. We're using the Inscripta printer. The Inscripta printer is a wonderful thermal printer that provides waterproof printing at an extremely low per disk cost. Okay, so at this point it is set up. It's ready to make ten copies. We're not going to make ten copies today. We're just going to make two. So I'm going to reduce this down to two. And now I'm going to choose the file that we just saw, the uh, label file. So now I've chosen two copies and the label file. I need to put disks into the uh, duplicator. I recommend using the Tayo uh disks. They're very good quality. You'll want to get the thermal, the kind of thermal print. The disks themselves look like this, very sh just a flat, shiny surface. There's no writing on them, they're very plain, but that's exactly what you want because you're going to control all the writing. So we take the input hopper and we put some disks into it. You can put up to a hundred disks at a time into the input hopper and then just have it duplicate away and come back when it's all done. So now I put the, the hopper back. And this is all set. This is all set. Select go. And it will start to uh, duplicate the disks. First it's going to read the disk that it's duplicating. Then it will pick up these disks, make copies, and it will make prints. It will drop them in the output hopper. So right now the pro program is running. It is reading the disk. You'll see this go across. As it reads the disk, you can watch the progress as it goes across, and there's a percentage number for how far along it is. Okay, now the CD is just about all read. It's at 99%, 100%. You see, notice that it's opening the, the drawers. The robot is figuring out where it was, and now it's getting the blank disks. put in the open drawers. That noise is normal. Maybe since day zero. Every once in a while a little robot thinks to itself. <laughs> figures out where it, what it's doing.
the nice thing is, though, you do not have to be here during this whole period. You can just walk away and come back when it's all done. You are able to choose whether or not it prints the discs as well. So it is now loaded, both of the uh, disk drives, and it will proceed to record onto those disks. If you don't click, it will automatically keep going. You can click to dismiss that um, dialog box early. And what you will see is just like there was a progress bar before, there's another progress bar here and it tells you how long it takes. It's about 5% right now. It's going to be a little while. Uh, it's a yellow progress bar instead of a purple one this time, but other than that, it works the same way. And it's finished recording on the disks. So this disc is finished in terms of recording. It has the music on it. And now it will apply the label to it. Again, you don't have to be here while the uh, disc is recording or the label is printing. take the disc out of this drive, tuck it away off to the side, it knows about where it is, uh, so that it can then already start recording on the next set of discs. It is now printing. Out comes a finished disc. But again, you don't have to worry about it. The robot will continue to move things around as it knows how to do. And eventually it will fill this output bucket with the number of discs that you specify. the completed disc, looking beautiful, ready to be listened to, with a nice professional waterproof layer. Thank you.